so I'm going to start, my first question, I'm going to start off with you, uh, Adrian. You, of course, are an actor and you're a director and you've got all these other hats that, that you wear. Um, at what point did you realize or did you make the decision to use the platform that you have for the causes that, that you care about? I know you care deeply about the environment. You've been active with organizations like Charity Water. You've also used the medium of, of documentary film as a way to uh, you know, highlight issues. When did you make the decision to, to get involved and, and how did you choose the, uh, the issues that you care about? In particular, uh, media and celebrity um, has, has made us all believe that somehow the American dream is uh, lots of options and financial wealth and celebrities do their job in promoting that ideal. But the truth is that all of those things don't really truly bring us satisfaction and fulfillment. And so I started to, to look beyond that and try and find ways to cultivate a, a, a true lasting uh, legacy for myself. And uh, started to put my focus towards um, towards uh, the things that I, that I really cared about. And uh, that's when I started Shift.com. Um, so this is uh, such an important discussion, and I want to thank each of you uh, for, for participating on it. I, I have more of a, a comment than a question. So uh, a group of us got together um, at the Annenberg Estate at Sunnylands, uh, and I think it was in May, and we were discussing this notion of art and social change and art and celebrity and entertainment and its role in society and its role in continuing to, 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 to push for the kinds of values we would really like to see expressed. And we put together a statement over a couple of days which I think is actually worth sharing uh, in this particular audience. It, it, it's very short. It's entitled An Invitation and it's on the Annenberg uh, Sunnylands website as well as posted on Creative Time. Culture permeates all. It is the ground for all social formation, from the food at our table to our economic and political systems. In a world marked by multiple crises, resulting in isolation and exploitation, each of us has a stake in and a right to create our personal and shared futures. In this context, the value of the arts goes beyond mere economic terms. It is not only about making things, it is about making things happen. It is not just about production, but about process. Art lives in the world and not just in what it claims as the art world or the creative world. Against all boxes and labels, it appears everywhere and defines itself. Creativity has no limits. Art has the power to move our imaginations and bodies, transforming the emotional and physical spaces we share. It has the power to build and transform social relations and to bring about equity and justice. It is not marginal. It is essential to bettering our lives. In these times of uncertainty, it is possible to say that we are all artists now, and we all have the creative power to make a better world. We pose this question as an invitation, what if? Now, the reason why I'm sharing this is because, uh, you know, there, there has been this tendency, especially over the last couple of decades, to marginalize artists as, and, and, and entertainers as not having a significant or real voice in these things. And so it shouldn't be thought of as something as marginal, but really something that's very central. So as we find ways of engaging with one another, I think these are important concepts and ideas to keep in mind. Um, so thank you all so much for letting me I just that. want to say, you know, that's, that's our philosophy exactly at Shift.com. We are, you know, art, culture, aesthetic experiences first, and sort of environmental well-being and sort of an afterthought. It's just sort of folded into those things that we all aspire to anyway. And, and, and we've seen a lot of success in focusing on, on those things, first and foremost. So the question is, we're trying to shift the narrative from success to significance. How do you, how do, you do that? How do you take Hollywood and celebrity? Is it a one-by-one, person-by-person thing? My observation is, right, our kids are getting bombarded with 5,000 impressions a day. The impression is money plus status, plus image, plus more stuff, more people like you equals happiness. How do we shift it to personal relationships, personal growth, and contribution or giving back equal happiness? Is there, are you seeing a movement in Hollywood or Darnell from a, a creative standpoint? Are you seeing a shift in the people that you manage? Is, is that the narrative or is the narrative still the old narrative? Yeah, I think one of the things that um, is most exciting is uh, social media. and. I mean, we, we are now used to social media as a buzzword and social media and all this stuff, but like, historically, from a communication standpoint, there's never been 
the um, control that we have for bottom-up media. So if you were pissed off about something before or, you know, really wanted to learn about um, or just kind of fight back maybe against messaging, you, you really didn't, you're fairly limited. Um, and now for the first time ever, um, people can mobilize, respond, um, activate, and get that all together and talk back in a way that has never, ever been possible before. And I think it's on us, and obviously, yes, like social media is a communication platform, it's used for harm and it's used for good. Um, but there is, I, what I'm seeing is a lot of good and a lot of people seeing something that they don't like in mainstream media and responding to it.